isolates himself on a table, then finger taps. Abnormal motility is best seen in his pacing. He also liked to twirl in circles. A disturbance in motility is also a predominant sign of infantile psychosis. You can clearly hear the narrator there misclassify this boy who's exhibiting the signs of autism as having infantile psychosis, but this was the case for over 80 years. See, the term autism was just introduced into the medical field around 100 years ago by Swiss psychiatrist Eugen Bleuler, and at that point, he was using it to describe a symptom of schizophrenia where patients would be withdrawn into themselves. That association stuck, and it was only in the 1980s that autism was classified a Away from psychosis as its own condition. This shows us just how little we really understood about autism back in those days. So when people say there was no autism in my time, well there was, we just didn't identify it. 